Hello and welcome. This is Roofmonger, my friends. What you're looking at right now is a game called Mega Knockdown. Now I know as far as fighting games go, this kind of looks a little bit different to be sure. Not exactly NetherRealm Studios level of production quality, but don't confuse the simplistic look for low quality because there actually is a very fun fighting game here. So let me tell you about it. So Mega Knockdown is definitely a labor of love indie fighting game. And the big thing that's different besides the graphics that you saw is that it is indeed a turn based fighting game. I know that sounds odd, but trust me, it truly is a fighting game. Pretty much effectively every single concept you think that would apply in a traditional fighting game does indeed apply in this game, just in a turn based format. You have to worry about pressure. You have to worry about spacing. You need to block the right moves. You need to worry about people mashing invincible moves. You need to worry about the command grab character being close to you. You need to worry about Oki. You need to worry about frame beta. You need to worry about all the usual things you need to worry about just turn-based. So the one thing I guess you could say is since it is turn-based, there is really no execution requirements. When it comes to like doing 360 pile drivers, geese, pretzel, motion, raging storm, all that stuff, no. Nah. It's literally just hit a button and a direction, that's it. So you don't need to worry about breaking your fingers doing hard inputs. All the struggle in the game as it were is purely on the mental end. Understanding the spacing, what to do, when to do it, and also what the enemy is trying to do because pretty much every single play has a counter play. Like a jump attack will beat a throw, but it'll lose to a basic jab. Here you can see a light attack being a jump, and yes, it does combo, and combos are automatic in this game. Another example of combat here, medium attack eats up a lot of the screen, it's really good. But if you do it point blank and it gets blocked, then it's a guaranteed punish. Since it's all turn-based, these are the things you gotta worry about. Point blank, a medium is punishable, but a light is advantage on block. And that's sort of the beauty of the turn-based nature of this game. Here's a match of me playing online, and yes, this game does have a full online suite. And me, at the time not knowing as much, I'm playing the grappler character, and I'm just trying to get in, right? And I don't make a lot of the right decisions because this game is all about proper spacing. I'm getting my butt kicked trying to work my way in, right? I'm being stubborn, I'm being stupid, and this game really exemplifies a lot of the great choice making in fighting games because if you do not make the correct choices, you will absolutely lose. Every time the characters move, this is turns locked in. And over the course of this specific round, well, I make a lot of bad decisions. I did the classic grappler thing of I worked the other character to the corner, yes, but I basically lost all my life in working them to the corner. And well, that spells the end to me in the end. What do you do when you're low health and frustrated? You jump, right? That's exactly what I do here. But the opponent did a much faster jump, so they win. To walk you through a game, I guess, we'll do a round here in slow-mo, just so we can really understand a lot of the concepts of the game, because once again, turn-based fighter, not exactly a normal thing. So turn one, I just walk forward and block, and the opponent goes for his character's special move. And yes, every character has their own specials. As you can see by the red squares, every red square is effectively a part where the move hits. So if I'm anywhere in that space, and I'm not blocking, I will get hit. Now this I did block, and being a powerful move, it's punishable on block. And my character being the grappler, my response to punishing that is to do my unique command grab. Going up, coming back down, you, you've seen that in other games, to say the least, right? And it does a fair chunk of damage. Now we go to the next turn. When you're knocked down, getting up incurs a little bit of a penalty. So your move that you would do from getting knocked down is not as fast as it would be if you were just standing normally. So this creates Oki, okay, this creates knockdown pressure just like any other normal fighting game. So in response, I walk forward and do a light. I have some small advantage, but not enough here, as the grappler does have slower frame data, and yes, frame data is in this game, so I get beat out by the other character's move. So next, I attack and stay in place, and my opponent walks backwards and attacks, and well, you just whiff, right? And whiffing, just like a normal fighting game, is definitely a big thing here, and depending on how you play it, you can do things like whiff punishing. Next turn here, I go forward and block, trying to play it safe, but my opponent goes for a sweep. And in this game, you can only block low if you stay still and block. So if you walk forward and block, you get hit and you get knocked down. And once again, that knockdown situation is to your disadvantage. So now I'll play it safe. I choose to stand up in place and block, that's it. The opponent goes for a medium, I block it. And now they're at a slight disadvantage as you can see by that clock. The way the game works, you'll always know basically if you have any kind of advantage or disadvantage. 
being knocked down or having the clock on you means you're definitely at a disadvantage. Now here, trying to repeat, catching me walking forward and blocking, the opponent tries to go for a sweep again, but I just do a jump in. And jump in beats any kind of lows. If it doesn't have the upper hitbox that controls the higher part of the screen, a jump will always beat it. Now the opponent is cornered. My next turn, I'm like, okay, I'll just walk forward and block. The opponent goes for a medium, which does have those upper hitboxes, as you can see there. So if I tried to jump, I would've got smoked out of the air, but I just walk forward and block. Now I have a slight advantage. I'm gonna play it safe. I just go for a quick attack. I have the advantage and they jump. And once again, a grounded attack here will be to jump because it has the higher hitboxes and I put them back in the corner. So I made the correct choice in this decision. Here, I just don't know what to do next. I just block. As you can see here by the winds, this guy's been kicking my butt for quite a while, right? So I'm definitely just learning. So I block a medium. Now I have slight advantage again because I blocked. So now I'll move forward, do my fastest move of which he chooses to block. But since I picked a light instead of a medium, since he blocked, I still have slight advantage as you can see by the clock. And now the mind games, he's cornered, I'm beside him, I'm the grappler character. Grapples beat everything except for jumps when they're done at the same time. And uh, my character's grab specifically cannot be throw teched. Normally two throws in this game, they tech, right? But I'm the grappler, so no throw tech. So at this point, if the grab's coming, you have to jump to beat it. But I called out the jump. I go for my grounded move, beats the jump, and there we go. I finally managed to take a single game off this guy. Normally in all our previous games, I'd always go for the throw and I'd always get beat. And that's the basic idea of the flow of combat in this game. Now, once again, I keep hammering this home. Yes, it is a turn-based game, but it absolutely has all the mental battles and fundamentals that you need for a normal fighting game. You need to know your positioning. You need to know your moves. You need to know your enemy's moves because there is unique characters in this game. Like up against old Paul here, he's basically Ken. He's got the fireballs, he's got the flaming uppercut, all that fun stuff. And honestly, uh, in my time with it, I found it just a joy to play. It's definitely a very different experience, but yet, despite how different it is, it feels very familiar. So if you could, I would highly recommend just to give it a shot, if only legitimately just for the novelty of it. It's certainly just a different experience, if nothing else, but I do think there is something here. Uh, fighting games can be a lot of different things, and this, despite being so different than the usual, is still absolutely a fighting game. Another thing I want to bring up is this game actually has a lot of heart. So there is single player too. There's arcade mode, survival, all that kind of stuff. And like this moment right here had me laughing for a good while. The characters, despite not having a lot of graphics, all do have quite a bit of personality. And poor old Billy was poisoned by anime to become a wrestling grappler. And because he became a grappler, his dad kicked him out of his house. Dad wanted him to grow up to be a stance character or a zoner. And I understand this is very fighting game specific humor, but you know what? It works on me. And other fun things like strife mode, where if you get counter hit, you have a big zoom in and it says counter, all that kind of stuff, just like Guilty Gear Strive. And these people are fighting for the richest prize in the game. I'm talking the ultimate prize in all of esports and fighting games. I'm talking $100. Like that's good enough for like eighth place at Evo or something like that. So yeah, if any of this interests you, it is out on early access and Steam right now. A recent patch put in full online support with lobbies and chat. Works great on the Steam Deck, as you can see. I actually just got a Steam Deck just the other day. I've mostly just played Vampire Survivors on it. But I can confirm Mega Knockdown works great on it. It's a game with a lot of heart. It's actually pretty fun to play. The characters are very inventive, like old Marv here. Marv is, uh, I guess you could say, the Dalsum analog, has a lot of like screen control moves. All the characters are quite unique. Now, before we end up the video though, a few things to note. Yes, the graphics obviously pretty basic. They are working on adding proper art to the game in the future. It is indeed early access after all, it's not quite fully done. Like this is mock-up concept art, but this is an idea in the future what the game could be looking like. And despite being early access, there is already a pretty vibrant community for it. They have their own Discord, they do monthly tournaments. Tournaments are free to enter and they are very welcoming of newcomers. They taught me a thing or two after all, right? So if you wanna learn more about that, I'll put a link to the Discord, to the Steam page, all that in the video description, all the links you would need. And that's about it. So the final thing I'll say is, it's interesting, like it's cool, I like it. It's certainly not the high budget Street Fighter 6, Mortal Kombat 12, whatever big new upcoming fighting game experience, but it's got a lot of heart and it's a lot of fun and that's the most important thing in the end. So that all said, now we're at the end of the video, so thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well, and if you can find it in your heart, maybe go out and try some Mega Knockdown.